So, who are you and what do you do? My name is Tiffany. I am a licensed cosmetologist that now specializes in skin. So, I'm an esthetician. Okay. What does it take to become an esthetician? You have to go to school for a certain amount of hours, depending on what state. In Florida, it's 320, I believe. 320 hours? Mm-hmm. God. Why That's it, a lot or a little? It seems like a lot. Why is it that serious? Because you got to know what you're doing. You got to learn about the skin, the muscles, the facial muscles, who can get what, what kind of medication you got to take or not take. Take three deep breaths for me. This aromatherapy? Mm-hmm. Is that lavender? It's a botanical mix. Oh, is it proprietary? Um, this is a dermological school, so everything that we use here is going to be a dermological product. Okay. But when I say proprietary, is it like a secret ingredient? I don't, I'm not dermological. I don't work with them. I'm assuming it's their, that's why I said it's their their mix. So what was the what was the purpose of the, the smell, the, the aroma? To relax you. Okay. <laughs> so when somebody first comes in, what's the first thing you're looking at? Um, well, we generally ask, what are your skincare concerns? Do you have any skincare concerns? No. They asked me what type of skin I had. They had a bunch of different boxes. I put, I don't know. Yes. You're not required to know, but it's sometimes some people do already know the type of skin that they have. So what type of skin do I have? I right. haven't analyzed I haven't analyzed your skin yet. You might give me I gotta do my pre cleanse. So right now that's what we're doing. Okay, so I gotta cleanse the skin, properly cleanse the skin, and then I can do my analysis. How do you cleanse the skin? Well, I'm going to start with a double cleanse, and this is the first cleanse. And do you know what ingredients to use in the cleanse? No, I don't know what ingredients they have in the cleanse. You don't know what the base ingredient is? No, oh, this is not my product. I the school gave it to me, okay? Alright, so just be telling me what you're doing. Still going in with the pre cleanse. Smell like a, some olive oil in there. It is an oil base. It's how you uh, break up makeup and the day help melt it away. Was my makeup easy to pull off? Uh huh. Oh, okay. So as a licensed cosmetologist, what's, I mean, so what's the name of the license to do this? Esthetician. And it's different? Aesthetics. Aesthetics license. Okay. Is it different from a cosmetologist license? Yes. Yeah. Cosmetology, you go to school for 1,200 hours. Wow. So you're a super, a super beauty person. Yeah. What type of people should get this? Everybody. What do you mean? I mean, everybody should get facials. It's just good skin maintenance. There are different types of facials, though. So some focus on corrective, and some are just relaxing and maintenance purposes. This one would be just maintenance and relaxing because 
they're not um, like a specialty. A specialty? Mm-hmm, like advanced skincare. What does that mean? It means advanced skincare can include like chemical peels or like targeted facials or customized facials. So the reason why I'm not advanced is because I got a clear skin, is that what it is? <laughs> Well, you're new to um, the facial world, all right? Mm. How many facials have you had before? Zero. <laughs> exactly. So, it's good to start off basic, and then we can come back to see what we need next time. Okay, so you, you get off... You do the first one and then based the second facial is when you able to start I guess putting together like a, a formulation mm -hmm. okay. a regimen a schedule specified for your skin type how often do should somebody get a facial three to four weeks, depending on which kind of face you're getting. Something like this, you can do every like three to four weeks. So, if somebody get a facial every week, they overdoing it? Yes. Or oh, it, could, it could cause harm? It's just too much um, like stimulation to the skin. Because remember, you're still at home doing your skincare, right? You're washing your face twice a day. You're putting on your SPF every day. <laughs> Are you telling me that as a, I mean... Yes, I'll, I'm telling you. Well, I, I mean, I probably wash my face once a day, and I put on coconut oil as like a, like lotion. Well, you still need an SPF. The sun ages us the quickest. Even That's as, a lie. Okay. When you say us, what, what do you mean? Skin, it ages skin the quickest. Us humans. <laughs> what do you mean, us humans? <laughs> so you put on sunscreen? Yes, I do. Every day. Hmm. Oh man, I thought this was a. <laughs> I like running. So what SPF should uh, someone melanated use? You can start with 30. They start do, with? Mm -hmm, they go up higher than that, but a basic 30 would do the job. See, somebody told me that, uh, that maybe I should start wearing sunscreen to prevent, like, as I get an older, my skin looking like, you know, what rubbery, but none of my uncles or my granddaddy, and my uncles are over 60, my granddaddy's over 90, and their skin looks good, and they don't wear sunscreen. What, what do you say to that? Good genetics. Yeah, but I thought it's not typical with melanin. Well, yeah, because our, that's, the melanin blocks the sun rays better than not having, so. But extra protection doesn't hurt. Mm. I like when I get dark skin. Okay. You ever seen under my watch? What? Hmm? What? Under my watch. Keep under going. your watch? Don't stop. <laughs> under your watch? Yeah. What do you like, mean under your watch? What my com the skin? Oh like, yeah, it's always lighter. But when I'm in Georgia, this is what I look like. You see it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I like the darker, so the, the sunscreen won't keep me from getting a good... Uh... It blocks the harmful rays. Oh, but I still get dark. Mm -hmm. okay. Keeps the skin from burning and receiving the harmful UV rays. And this is still the cleansing process? Yep, this is the second cleanse. Ah, the second cleanse. Mm -hmm. Different products? Yes. Products that you don't know what it is? Mm-hmm. It's putting on my face. Well, <laughs> Dermalogica tested it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I heard you. So what does? Because dermo is that like mean skin? Mm hmm The beginning. What mm -hmm. did it call? Prefix. Yeah. Mm hmm Or base word. Mm hmm So is it like dermatologist here too? No, those are doctors. Mm -hmm. Nobody here is a doctor. You gotta go to school. So do 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 dermatologists hire estheticians? Mm-hmm. They can work in their offices. Is that typical? Is that I mean is that like what most estheticians do or not? No, but that'd be like a medical esthetician. Mm. Because you're working under a physician, so you're able to do more things than you would as a regular licensed esthetician. Okay, so the only thing, it sounds like you're saying the only thing that you have to do to be considered a medical esthetician is work under a, a dermatologist. Okay. Yeah, if you don't go to school yourself. Wow, that's like a cheat code. <laughs> so what if you Or you, you can become a nurse and then you can do more stuff. Oh, so if you're a nurse, you can you can still call you can call yourself a medical assistant. Mm -hmm. What if you only work for the doctor for one month? Can you keep the title? I don't know. <laughs> Every time you go to a next step, uh, say it because uh, it's going to be people just listening. Okay, so right now I'm going in with your microfoliant. This is an exfoliator. What does exfoliate mean? I've heard that before. What does exfoliate mean? It means it gives a deeper cleanse than just. Um, facial uh, daily cleanser it uh, opens up your pores a little bit more and gets under the it's more of a, of a dirt out oh, from that, the pores. is it kind of like sandy feel mm -hmm. and I turned on the steamer so we can get a deeper penetration Ooh. <laughs> he opens up and softens up um, your pores, especially if you want to do extractions. How's the, how is it? What too much, mean? too hot, can you breathe? Are you comfortable? No, I can breathe, All right. but that, that steam mm -hmm. got, got a, uh, a scent to it. I can't help it, okay? This is not my product. I said scent, you see, they don't know what I meant. <laughs> I would have said smell. <laughs> touch so you you apply it first and then you like rub it in mm -hmm. stuff like this. So what are you paying attention to when you're exfoliating? I'm just focusing on scrubbing your skin at the moment. Once I take it off, then I can reassess your skin since it's gotten a deeper cleanse. Oh. So is that like, man, like, if, I guess like skin blotches would pop out? No, it just gives me a true feel for your skin now that it's truly clean. What you mean? Let's get the skin always clean. Okay. <laughs> what are the different types of skin? You got normal, normal combination, oily, and dry. 
Okay, so what does normal mean? <laughs> normal means you have no skin concerns. Um, your oil production is not too much, not under your perfect skin. So, it's, it's in, is perfect skin normal? No. <laughs> no. So why is perfect skin normal? I don't, normal? I don't come up with the names, okay? <laughs> they decide that that's what it is. So what's combination? Combination means you have dry and oily, but in different spots. And, and oily seems intuitive, but what does that, how does that manifest itself? Uh, you look shiny throughout the day. Um, people who are oily generally have to like wipe their skin throughout the day, so they don't look so shiny. You have active sebum glands. Active what glands? Sebum. That's that's the term that cur that produces oil. Yeah, my nose gets oily sometimes. Mm-hmm. That's typical for us though. Alright, I'm gonna go get your hot time. Okay. this do? You can try to wipe off your exfoliator, but it also has heat, so we are opening and softening pores. How many of these type of appointments do you have to do? 40 facials total for this school. I don't know if it's different at other schools, but at this school. How many do you have so far? I'm not sure. I'd just hmm? be checking them all. Oh, you, so you got more than just me? Just for years. <laughs> Feels like. Mm -hmm. What you mean? Like yeah. texture. Okay. Is it bumpy? Is it smooth? Do I feel like you have dry spots? Oh, because if somebody had like a like you said, all the skin and the oil just 
know. He wouldn't see right now. But that's something that you would notice throughout the day. Oh, so you would have to, I guess, depend on the person? Mm-hmm. That's why we do ask questions to see. Do you know? Are you aware of your skin? No. <laughs> <laughs> But you are. You said your nose is oily there. I mean, the day. that's because I record videos and I be seeing my nose be shining. Mm -hmm. All right. So my next step would be to do extractions. What's that? To get rid of squeeze. <laughs> um, blackheads, whiteheads. I'm gonna start with putting on my scaling gel, which helps soften the spots I'm about to extract from. What's the difference between the white hair and the black hair? The color. <laughs> and one is open and one is closed, so white heads are closed you have to squeeze it a little harder black heads are already open so you can see the black dot and a white head is what most people refer to as pimples uh -uh, a pimple is a pimple it's like um raised hmm. I guess people can call it pimples. But usually there's like inflammation oh, so, with the pimple. Oh, so white hairs and black hairs are both level with the skin. I mean they can be a little raised, but you're not gonna see like a like a bubble you like you would with a pimple. You see a lot the of pimples can be have a little red so because they're inflamed. Blackheads and whiteheads are not gonna have redness to it. So what did you find in my face? Oh, I'm about to squeeze your nose to get these whiteheads. Oh, so when when, when you when I push up against my nose and the white stuff, mm -hmm. those are white. That's heads. well, that's pus. I mean, oh my god, <laughs> that's that's oil. What is it? So, but is it considered a whitehead? Mm-hmm. a lot? Yes. More than normal? <laughs> Is it more than typical? No. Um, I don't want to say. What you mean? You want to say what? I don't want to say. I'm trying to show it to your camera. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm not going to say more or less. I'm just going to say, hey, it's there. So if somebody start coming like regularly getting esthetician, does that amount decrease or it's just? Mm -mm, Cause it's your, unless you get like chemical pills to level it out, but that's your, the way your natural body produces. So that doesn't include extractions. Mm -hmm. That's just your basic, like a clean facial. But in your opinion, should everybody get a facial that includes extraction? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it clears out the congested pores. So the basic facial people need to stop being basic. Is <laughs> what you're saying? It can be for people who have never had a face or like younger, like a teen facial. For basics. <laughs> if you want to call it that. Do you see any black hairs? There's one right here, but. Just the white ones. Okay, so I got a bunch of white hairs and black hairs. Mm -hmm. The 
tent? Uh, it don't tickle. <laughs> what tool are you using? That's an abstraction tool. Extraction solution. Okay. This helps calm the yes. air. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to see it? Your tissue? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's not a lot. Yes, it is. <laughs> That is a big part of it. Yeah. Look like I've been eating mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Hellman's. All right, next I'm gonna go in with your mask. We're gonna do a vitamin mask, and this mask has vitamin A, E, and C. A is for retinol. It's good for cell turnover and aging skin. Vitamin C is good for brightening, and then vitamin E is for moisture. Mm. Mm. With the mask, it's like a, it's like in a package, like baby wipes. No, it's a cream. I'm gonna brush it on your skin. Okay. Like a vitamin scent to it. What that mean? Earthy? <laughs> you know how you take multivitamins and you burp? Oh, no? Oh, it's not like bologna? No. <laughs> well, that's not how my vitamins smell. I don't know what kind of vitamins you take in. You know, you never had it when you burp from time. But I'm talking about vitamins. I'm not talking about food. But it can smell like bologna even if you haven't eaten bologna. So with the extraction, so I, I only had white hairs on my nose. Mm. Do do other people have it like all over their face? Yeah, like a lot of people. Have, well, not all of their face, but like nose and chin are common places. I guess with my beard, you can't tell. Correct. So it's probably filthy under there. Is what you're saying? Well, the little bit of skin I can see, I'll put a fine, fine finger in there. <laughs> All right, so this is going to sit on for about five minutes. Five it's going to tingle, feel a little tingly, especially in this area. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling it? I mean... No. Well, may not. The way you was cringing, maybe. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. So what made you want to do this? Um, I just
just needed to pivot from doing hair. Hair was no longer <laughs> nice to my body, so I had to do something that I still enjoyed in the beauty industry. But you can sit down. Mm-hmm. How you feeling? Good. Mm -hmm. So does the mask like, does it like peel off? Mm-mm, I gotta wipe it off with the towel. How can you tell if you have a good esthetician? I think that's um, subjective. It depends on what you are looking for, like as a client. What do you mean? It depends on what you're looking for. Just like if you go, let's see. It depends on what you're looking for and if you got what you're looking for. I don't, that's subjective. Drake. <laughs> He's a new track. Is that new track? Oh, 
we do that here? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Are we telling to cut the heat all the way up? Mm -hmm. Not too hot? Not too hot? We have them rough feet. Hey man. These hit. They were made for walking. Ceremony? No. So it'll be your paper. Mm-hmm. Thanks for your money. Bye. All right, I'm going in with your toner now. It's a mist. I almost opened my mouth. <laughs> It's a toner? Yeah, toner um, bounces out your pH in your skin and brings back its normal balance from what we have been. Smell like wood, Pledge. Is that a cleaner? You never heard of Pledge. Oh, Pledge, yeah. But this, oh, there's a wood version? Yeah. Oh, they got Pledge, but well, I guess they might have all surfaces. All right, and your last step is your face moisturizer. And your SPF. Oh, so it's all in one? No, this one is separate. They do have moisturizers. They do have both of them in them, but I still I suggest you get a separate. Like, if you want to continue with your coconut oil, still go get a SPF. My recommendation would be the Black Girl SPF because it doesn't leave a white cast on our melanated skin. A white what? A white cast. Have you ever used SPF? <laughs> it leaves a white cast. You can see it in the camera, but I'm rubbing it in right now. So that's the brand you said called Black Girl SPF? Yeah, Black Girl Sun Block. It's in a black bottle with gold writing. You can get it from Target and Ulta. specific technique you use to rub it in? Mm -hmm. There are different massage techniques. Yep. What this one is? No friction. You say up friction? friction no friction and uh, gliding or sliding. Friction and sliding. This one is called Petra Sides. It's like a pinching in. Petra Mm-hmm. Petra Sides. 
Mm. It sounds like an insect spray. It smell like a what? I say petricide. I thought it was an insect, insect spray. spray. All right. Oh, that's it. This concludes your Is that the camera or is that me? That's how it looks. <laughs> like a brand new baby. Yeah. Oof. <laughs>